Hey everybody, welcome back to Adina Vlog. I'm your host Josh Sprague with Adina Realty in Adina, Minnesota. Episode number 19, we have some great things planned for you today. Uh, we're here at Countryside Park. We'll be doing a tour of the Countryside neighborhood, East Countryside. We have uh, market news and the Facebook question of the week, of course, and we'll be taking a look at the new Whole Food store. So, come along. So our neighborhood tour this week is of Countryside, and we're actually in East Countryside. Uh, the borders of that are from the railroad tracks to Tracy Avenue on the west, and the north and south from Vernon Avenue to Crosstown on the south side. Uh, East Countryside is about 350 homes, medium price, 400,000. Uh, teardowns you'll find in the low 300s. I actually sold one on Highland Road for, I think, 315. They tore it down and put up a million dollar house. So again, along with the collection of older homes, you have a bunch of newer homes that have popped up in that million dollar price range, another neighborhood in the Dyna going through transition. Um, the great thing about this neighborhood is big lots. You've got nice sprawling areas, usually uh, 0.4 to 0.5 acre lots, walkable uh, streets, very kind of wide streets. Um, and actually, as you, we go through this tour, you'll see that there's some construction vehicles. The streets are being reconstructed. The new infrastructure is going in the summer, so it's going to be even better for this neighborhood. And then the other thing that's happening is at Countryside Park. Uh, we have about a million dollar of scheduled park improvements. They're going to do walking paths, uh, new hockey rink, new play equipment, and, uh, and new baseball diamonds. So it's an exciting time to be buying in this neighborhood. And I actually just sold another house on Hillside, and the people were just excited to be here at the right, it's the right timing and the right place to be. On to our Facebook question of the week, which was, what is your favorite area grocer or grocers and why? Now we had lots of responses. Obviously we're blessed in Edina to have a great continuum of food. Uh, Whole Foods won in the category of quality of food, of course, with their sustainable standards and their uh, local organically grown food. Um, Byerly's and Jerry's won for service. And if anyone's been there, you know they give just incredible uh, top-notch quality service to the client coming through the door. And then finally, Super Target, uh, as well was mentioned for pricing and convenience. Great store layout, easy to pick up other items and so on. Thank you everybody out there again, contributing to the Facebook question of the week. And remember, you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash josh one sprague. On to the market news, and I'm here at the baseball field because I feel like buyers are really back out there swinging in the housing market, especially in the Edina housing market. As I reported in the last video blog, uh, through February, sales were up nearly 50%. Now take a look at the chart here from March. Sales up 30% uh, year over year. Median price now has dipped down 15%. Uh, that's okay, you're gonna see a little bit of an uptick and a downtick, but basically stabilization of median price year over year. And if you take a look at the graph below, which shows you historical median price, uh, more of a long-term graph, you'll start to see that basing of median price, that's a good sign of stabilization in this new normal housing market where prices basically are expected to go up maybe one to 2% as they did historically. Now, briefly, let's talk about the million dollar plus market in Edina. 49 active million dollar plus listings for sale in Edina right now. 16 sales year to date. That's a 50% increase from last year. And over half of those sales are in the East Edina area around 50th and France. So those would include the neighborhoods of Country Club, South Harriet Park, Gulf Terrace Heights, and Colonial Grove. So uh, because, again, of the walking uh, um, amenities that are there and the proximity to the retail, people continue to flock to that area. So uh, again, overall, all good news for our housing market and it's always great to be in a place like Edina. Well today our spotlight business of the month is Whole Foods in Edina. We're here for a sneak peek. That store's not even open yet. By the time you see this vlog it will have opened on April 18th. We want to get you a special sneak peek and walk through and learn more about the store concept and the store design. So come along. Hey guys, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks so much for having us out for Dyna Vlog. I'm here today with Dan Blackburn, who's the store team leader and team manager for the Whole Foods in the Dyna, as well as our special guest, Christine Sturch, who's here from Whole Foods Midwest and who serves as the interior design coordinator for the region. So, again, great to be here. We're not even open yet. We're getting this sneak peek. And uh, Christine, I'd love to talk with you first about all the glorious design that went into this location. Fantastic. Let's go check it out. Great. 
So one thing I am just so curious about is how does Whole Foods approach design at a store level basis? Well, we're so excited to be able to source and support local made materials and local products and environmentally friendly products. But what's really unique about us is that we design every store for the community. We theme it for the community, we source local vendors in the community, and we try to support the local economy as much as we can. That is incredible. So tell me what we have here that you can, you can talk about. One of our favorite things is our Shetka Stone Venado ta ta tabletops here. They are 75% uh, recycled materials, they have no VOCs, and what's really great about them is they're made locally right here in Minnesota. And what is this? Oh, this is kind of neat. This is all wine vine fibers that is uh, taken post-industrial, post-consumer 100% uh, and uh, made right here in a factory. And made into something beautiful. Beautiful. And less. Okay. And less. Another service actually that we have that we like is made from corn cobs and it's made in Iowa at a button factory. So it's kind of got a neat story and it helped keep that button factory alive. Wow. And what's really neat about it is when you're done with the countertop, yep. you can recycle just like you would a plastic bottle. So grapevine countertops, corn cob countertops. You got it. And what about all this beautiful wood I see throughout the store? This is so That's a neat story. We have two kinds of wood in the store. One is behind our customer service yep. and that is made from torn down barns throughout the Minnesota. Old barns. Old barns that coming back to life. Coming back to life, giving them a, a second life. The other in our meat and seafood departments is made from wood from fencing that's torn down in Wyoming that would have otherwise ended up in a landfill. Well, how do you find all these obscure vendors from around here? I mean, you must have a network built up and then you kind of network through your exactly. current. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, we have a network. Um, I work with 11 other designers throughout the company and we all help each other find new sources. And people come out of the woodwork and we just try and find places to, to help uh, the local economy use what they have already. Well, let's take a look at one of the other areas. Great. So the next thing I want to talk about actually is our messaging. Okay. We try to educate the community as much as possible as well. That helps tie us into the community. Yep. But our messages sometimes change and we don't want to use materials that are going to end up in a landfill. Right. So we found this falcon board, which is basically at least 25% recycled cardboard fiber materials. You can print right on it, and when we need to change our message, the great thing is it's 100% recyclable. What I love about the recyclable materials you use, they, they are all beautiful. I mean, you would never guess that this is recycled unless you turn and look on the side. That so, it's just cardboard. Yeah. Yeah. Another one of the beautiful materials we have is our community tables. Oh, okay. This is a really great story. This wood all comes from fallen trees, or trees that have disease in them. So nothing is cut down to make these tables. They were on their way down. On their way down already, okay. exactly. And you can tell, we can tell you exactly what part of our house this tree came from. So you get to see where it grew up. Wow. Which is kind of fun. And so how many of these do you have in this area? Just a few? We have a two, two here that we can bring together for one big community table, okay. which also is really something we're really proud of, that we love to bring the whole community together to eat together, share their meals together, and talk about their food and their experiences together. Another place to come. Exactly. Okay. There's one other place I'm dying to see. Let's take a look over at the whole body section. Great. Okay. What do we have here? This is one of our most local products. Okay. This is recycled automotive glass. So this came from cars that had been in accidents or were in dumps. They collected the uh, windows and doors and they put them all together to make this very environmentally friendly recycled glass product that's made right here in Minneapolis by Rust Brothers. So it's not always bad to get in a car accident. There are no. some good things that come out of it. We use every part of the automobile. I, that is incredible. <laughs> Well, um, I am so grateful we had this little tour of the local sourcing. Let's now talk about the local theming and take a look at some of the Adina design elements throughout the store. Great. So, Christine, tell me, how do you develop the local concept for each one of these stores? Well, we go into the community and we do research. Uh, we get to know the neighbors, the other retailers, and really get a feel for the culture. Mm -hmm. uh, what we learned was that people were really proud of their athletic teams here. Crazy for their athletic teams. Crazy program. here. Yep. So we incorporated the Indina Hornet logo into our front windows. You can see that. That's kind of neat. Not just one, but multiple, multiple. various sizes too, yep. I saw. Yep. I said, you know, get that in as many times as you can. Yep. 
Um, another fun thing is we just want to show you when we walk in the front doors that we are proud to be a part of the community. So yep. we have a sign that says, We Heart Edina. And that's made out of some very special... It's all old doorknobs old because doorknobs. we want to okay. welcome you in to our community. I love so, it. Welcome then, you into our store. Then you walk in and you're presented with... Our cooking department. Yep. It is back to basics here and we wanted to so show products, kitchen, kitchen staples, pantry yep. items, cooking at Edina, what you need for your home in Edina. And then you come around to the back of the store and you have this incredible timeline here. Tell us, do you do this in every store? Every store gets their own personalized timeline. Okay. And we want to show how the community is integrated with the history of Whole Foods Market and organics. So you have the village of Edina starting here in 1888. Exactly. You start off with that. And then you have the development of the Whole Foods concept and sustainability. Exactly. And at the very end it says 2012 Whole Foods Market proudly opens its doors to the Edina community. So proud. And yeah. beyond. And beyond, and beyond. And this timeline is adjustable, so as we grow with the community, we can add more panels to it. Well, uh, let me just tell you, I really appreciate this information. I'm sure all of our viewers do. You would never get this behind-the-scenes look without talking to the, the person and the team yeah, the that's team. responsible for it. So yeah. uh, I really appreciate it, and uh, I appreciate good design, and it's, it's throughout this store. So thanks again. Thanks for taking the time. It was good to meet you. You bet. So Dan, thanks again for having oh us out. God. Absolutely. Thank uh, you for I am so interested in learning about this store concept and the layout, because as I understand, it's much different than the other stores. It is. It is. There's four stores in the Twin Cities, Okay. and this store is completely different than the other four. Um, we chose a design here that is specific for Edina. Yep. Um, the other three stores, you've got a smaller store, a bigger store in Lake Calhoun, about the same size as Minnetonka, but this store looks completely different than everybody else. And now you would know because you started uh, the first store in Minnesota on Grand Avenue, is that correct? That's right. Okay. I started the St. Paul store, man, that's been a long time, 95. <laughs> wow. 95 is when we opened up that store. It's about half of the size of this store. Okay. So it's definitely going to be different just from the size. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's been a good, good run. We've been, I've been in that store and then I also worked in the Lake Calhoun store okay. for 10 years and now I'm over here. Okay. And then you've got the Minnetonka store as well. That's right. And okay. I never worked in that one, but it's a gorgeous store. So, uh, so when you walk through the door here, the thing that hit me right away is all this fresh produce and uh, the bulk goods. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure. So you got a good imagination because we're just setting it right now and we're in the middle of construction. I'm glad you guys came in early. But this wall is uh, its kind of the, the renaissance of cooking. If you're in this section, you've got just about everything you could possibly need for your meal. Okay. You've got all your bulk grains, all your dry goods right here. Yep. Everything that's fresh right in front of you. Yep. You've got our beautiful flowers that sit on your centerpiece all your wet produce over there, and then you can walk right through the back and from this point of view, see your proteins. Okay, so if, you want, if you're the kind of person that wants to cook locally, organically, every day, you just pop into the front of the store, gather the, the ingredients you want, hit the checkout, and you're good to go. You're good to go. It's kind of a store within a store concept. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the seafood and the meat department. Sure. So we're here in the seafood department. I know that Whole Foods has a much stricter rating system for the fish that they carry that would make you different than a lot of the other grocery stores. Tell me a little bit about that rating system. Sure. So in a nutshell, we use a, what's called a stoplight method. It's not the actual word, but it's the best layman term. It's a, a, green, right, a green rating, a yellow rating, or a red rating. And this year, actually, for Earth Day, we are discontinuing all use of any red-rated fish, which means that if it's endangered, overfished, or not harvested in a responsible way, we will not carry it anymore, and you won't see any red-labeled fish. We're the first company in the United States to do that. Wow. Um, it's a pretty good stance. We've given our suppliers a year, to, or two years, actually, but they've actually done it a year ahead. So we weren't going to do this until next year, but we've gotten it so far ahead, and our suppliers are on it, so we're doing it this year for so, Earth Day. So they're all green rated or green or yellow okay um, and green rated obviously is the most sustainable um, we have a lot of farm raised fish as well yeah but even in our farm raised fish our standards are above and beyond anything you might find anywhere else so now in terms of the meat department you also have a very specific rating system that's very different from the rest that's right what we've done is we've joined the global animal partnership and we've come up with a five-step method of weighting our, our animal protein um, step one, being far above and beyond anything that you might normally find. 
Um, and then step two, we would look at the enriched environment. Step three being the en enhanced outdoor access. Uh, step four being pasture centered. And step five being animal centered. And what it does is it rates, the, it, the rating is based on the humane raising of that animal. So it's animal centric and not just the quality of the meat. That's right, it's both, but we definitely take into consideration how that animal is raised and how happy it is while it's alive. And I also believe, and I'm sure Whole Foods does, that one leads to the other. The That's animal centric right. raising of the animals leads to a better quality meat. It does. Better quality meat, better environment. We're not packing everything into a small house. Uh, it's sustainable a lot more. And wow. good outcomes for everybody. Good outcomes. Great. So uh, I couldn't let you get past the cheese section without stopping and telling us a little story about this huge wheel of cheese I see over here. Parm is my favorite kind of cheese. I love all cheeses. But this in particular looks uh, incredible. Tell me the story. Okay, great. So, the king of cheese, Parmesan, from Parma, uh, in the Midwest. We are one of 36 stores. We're actually a 36 store, but all of the stores in the Midwest get our Parmesan from one guy, from the king. From the king. And why is he the king? Because this a this cheese is aged a minimum of 24 months. Okay. And there's a lot of Parmesans out there that claim that they're Parmesan, but they're not really Parmesan because they haven't been aged a minimum of 24 months. Okay. And it's only then that you get these nice nodules of the hardened uh, calcium with the, with the salt and you get that nice melt in your mouth kind of feel. Yep. That is what a Parmesan is truly all about. And you have other cheeses here as well. You have yes. a variety of world cheeses. Yes. We have cheeses from around the world um, and I really hope that you come in and try them all. Appreciate it. So we're on the final stop of our store tour. We're at the prepared food section and tell us all about the wonderful things you have in this area. Sure. So what we have over here, we've got an international cookie set. We actually bake off our own bread every day, all day long. We have our own tarts. We have our gelato. It's the only Whole Foods market in the Midwest or in the Twin Cities that has gelato. Um, so we've got a ton of sweet stuff for you. And also what we have behind me is prepared foods. And we know that a lot of people are short on time. So what we have in prepared foods is we prepare everything with the same food that you would buy in our store. So same standard. Same quality standards, okay. that's right. Um, no artificial colors, no artificial preservatives, and no artificial sweeteners or anything like that. Nothing artificial ever. Uh, not even any partially hydrogenated oils. And you will find that prepared right here, right in our open kitchen. We did an open kitchen here, which is the only one I know of, because we want to be that open to our community. Everything you see is what goes into our case. Well, I just love that there's, you know, the store set up for the two types of shoppers. One is the person that wants to come in, they have everything over there fresh that they can bring home and cook. And the other, for someone like me, depending on the night, that needs something done for them that they can carry home or, or actually eat in the store as well. Right. Well, I really enjoyed this tour of the store. I learned a lot. Uh, you know, it's probably difficult for a lot of people to understand. There's so many different organic standards and sourcing standards. What's the one point that you want to drive home to the consumers out there? Sure. So one thing is there is a lot of confusion out there about what's in the marketplace. And for those questions, we actually have a lot of team members in the store that can answer those questions. So they can go with people on site and help them understand oh, yeah. the different labeling systems, the different Absolutely. Okay. And we encourage people to ask questions. If, if there's any question at all, ask. Okay. However, what it all boils down to is sitting around the dinner table and having fun with food that actually tastes really good. Yep. And for that, because of the way that we source our product, nobody has any higher standards than we do in the industry, bar none. Right. You can trust that when you sit down and eat that meal with your family, you're getting the best food possible and it's going to taste great. Well, thank you so much again. Uh, great message and great store and we're grateful to have you in our city. Oh, it's good to be here. Thank you very much. You bet. Now before I go today, one more thing, take a look at this. This is a copy of my monthly housing report. It's called the Sprague Report. It has great uh, recap of the Twin Cities housing market. It has current interest rates, articles of interest to those selling or buying a home, and of course a copy of our most recent video blog. Uh, if you'd like to be on the list, just send an email to josh at joshsprague.com. Thanks again to Whole Foods, Dan Blackburn and his entire staff for giving us that private uh, sneak peek look at the new store and thank you for choosing Adina for your location. And thanks to all of you for joining me for another episode of Adina Vlog. We'll see you next time.